We've known for a long time that sex and gender play a role in access and the quality of care. Women's health, I mean, you can't just treat their cardiac risk if you don't address their psychosocial stress. A big component of women's health is not just studying diseases unique to women. It crosses really all of biology, health prevention, public health programs. From HIV research to violence against women and access to health care, I think it's one of the key really exciting things about this center is it brings together different professions and disciplines to really take on some of the pressing public health and global health issues. We started initially 11 years ago. We started as a women's health research group, and we were a group of faculty as well as mostly fellows and students who are really interested in trying to find mentors. We expanded with the goal of involving researchers across the schools of medicine, nursing, and public health. We have several missions as a center, and one of them is really around enhancing opportunities for training. We're trying to promote the network that we have. We link people. We hope that they have sustained relationships that are longitudinal. And then we also are promoting our science, so we're doing that by awarding pilot grants. Especially with uh, the 2016 mandate by the National Institutes of Health, that all investigators consider sex as a biological variable in their grants that are funded by the NIH. I think it has raised awareness and it's caused people to actually partition and analyze data to see, am I seeing a difference? I think we're riding a wave and I think we're really at the start of really garnering some attention for these differences.